my friend say, girl, you better take care. Cause that man is trouble, you best beware. And load it down, I know I might be headed for teardrops. Now that you got me started, I just can't. Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to be doing some cleaning, some home improvements. Um, I need to go to Trader Joe's. I'm gonna share a really neat new recipe book that has five items or less to make delicious home meals. So I wanted to take you guys along the process today. Like I said, I just have a few things to do here at the house, a few things to do out of the house. Um, who doesn't love new recipe ideas? And then I really wanted to get started on the boys' bathroom before the end of the day. Even if I start it tonight at 4 p.m., I start it tonight at 4 p.m. I'm just so anxious to get going on that bathroom. So I'm gonna take you guys along with me today. If you guys are new here, please consider subscribing, like this video, and let's dive into the day. I wanted to go ahead and start cleaning here in the family room. Sometimes when I'm not in the mood to clean, I try my best to start in just an easier space to kind of kickstart my motivation. Um, so I knew there was just some light picking up in here, putting things back where they needed to go, fluffing up the pillows, holding the blankets, a quick vacuum. I also wanted to add in one of my last few videos, I tried to come in here and shampoo my carpets and my carpet cleaner was not working. Well, that has been resolved, so I'm gonna be actually coming back in here and cleaning the carpets in an upcoming video. I did have some of you asking if I ever got that situation figured out, and I did. So I'm going to be coming in here and doing a much deeper clean. So today we're just doing a light um, pickup in here and then go ahead and move on to the next space because I have a lot that I wanna cover today. I wanted to take a quick pause from doing some cleaning in the house to thank today's video sponsor. And so thank you so much to YBot for sponsoring this portion of today's video. I wanted to share the Osprey 700. If you guys know me, my backyard is my oasis. I try and spend as much time back here as possible. We actually put in a custom built pool just a few years ago and we are in this thing all the time. So I'm very, very excited to share my newest little gadget with you guys. So this is our brand new pool vacuum. We are out with the old with the hoses and in with the latest technology. This pool vacuum has been so neat to watch. It's kind of like my robot vacuum that I use for in my home, but for my pool. And this vacuum is specially designed with flexible scrubbing brushes and four wheel drive system that enables it to actually climb the walls of your pool, which I will show you in clips here. And it vacuums all the walls and floors with effectiveness, leaving your pool sparkling. so easy to use you guys saw me just simply click the button drop it in and go and the Osprey 700 cordless pool cleaner is equipped with the best in class has a rechargeable battery that provides up to 110 minutes of continuous runtime making it perfect for in-ground pools up to 60 feet and it charges fully in about six and a half hours so we actually plug this in at night and then drop it in during the day and we let it do its thing and run and it is so entertaining to watch. Now this vacuum has an intelligent path planning and maximum coverage mapping. So it offers two different types of 
path planning. So it can do like an A star path or regular wall climbing path. Um, it does this like super satisfying sweeping back and forth motion. Um, it's, it has advanced sensors and gyroscopes. And this is how the pool cleaner maps and navigates the pool. Um, and it results in coverage so that way it's missing fewer spots. Um, I can say that after using this over the last like few weeks, that this vacuum has been doing an incredible job. I hate feeling things at the bottom of my pool on my feet and I have not had that problem at all. YBOT actually guarantees not only a two year warranty but also a 30 day return period. So it gives you plenty of time to try it out, study it, um, see how you like it in your pool and how it works for you. And if you don't like it, if you're not satisfied, you can actually send it back within 30 days. YBOT does have a website, but you can also find them over on Amazon, but I will have everything linked down below in the description box if you guys wanted to check this pool vacuum out for yourself. And thank you so much again to YBOT for sponsoring this portion of today's video. shared a couple of videos ago how we went out of town we went up north to northern california we were gone for about four days and i was prepping the house to leave then and now i am back home so there's just like a lot of laundry and just putting all the kind of odds and ends that we had in the car and then brought inside and everything just needs to kind of go back and settle into its correct place so that's what I wanted to accomplish on this day it always kind of takes me a day or two to kind of settle back into being home and so I was very anxious to just get back to my routine I'm very much a routine person the boys are back at school this day my husband back is back at work I'm working, I'm filming, and just getting the house all taken care of. So I have a bunch of laundry going on in the background, just trying to clear these spaces from when we came in the door after I think we drove seven hours on the way home. So we just kind of threw everything down and it's time to just get everything back to where it needs to be. So that's why I really wanted to pick up the camera. Um, I also share some Trader Joe's um, very light shopping, um, not really a full haul, but I kind of fill you guys in on that a little bit. But we tried to clear out the kitchen for being gone. I didn't want food to spoil or anything like that. So then we came home to an empty fridge and we just needed a lot of things. So I thought, why not go ahead and include it in this video? So I feel like I'm kind of sharing a mixed bag today, but I hope you guys enjoy it. You used to say that you would always be mine. But you seem to be doing just fine Now I think about you I just can't seem to stop thinking about you Take me back to the Take me back to those easy summer days When we stopped at nothing, babe So I love to leave my house in a certain way before we leave And unfortunately, I had just run out of time And I didn't get to vacuum these stairs before um, we left on our trip. So this was, I know it seems like such like not a big deal and a small task, but I have been dying to get my hands on these stairs and get them a good vacuum because I don't know if it's the carpet or what, but it grips onto like any type of fuzz or crumbs or dog hair, and it can actually look really dirty quickly. So it's not even that the carpet needs a shampoo. You can just tell that there's a lot of things settled on top of the carpet. So it feels good to finally have my vacuum and coming in here and getting this task done because I was really hoping to get this done before we left, but unfortunately I had just run out of time. I'm doing this voiceover and Ruger is asleep in here next to me. If you guys are new, Ruger is my dog and he's in a very deep sleep right now and he is dreaming. He is like making all kinds of noises. So if you guys hear that in the background of my voiceover, that is my dog. He is dreaming right now. But I also wanted to take a minute to come on here and let you guys know that I'm not quite ready to announce what this is yet, but we have some major major changes coming and I got to kind of figure out how I'm going to navigate that 
with my business here and doing YouTube. Um, so for now, I'm going to continue on with business as usual, but there are going to be probably some scheduling and uploading changes as I try and navigate this new, let's just call it an adventure. So I will update you guys as soon as I think that it makes sense to. Um, and I'm excited. It's exciting, but it's also kind of scary at the same time. I don't do well with large changes and this is definitely kind of taking a leap out on faith. So make sure you guys stay tuned. I will have that coming up here, hopefully pretty soon. Like I said, once I know more and I feel like it's fair to share and worth sharing, I will go ahead and share that with you guys. So make sure that you hit that bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Make sure you're subscribed and I will be making that announcement very, very soon. All right, this is my boy's bathroom. This is the one that I'm going to be coming in here and painting and giving it a little um, refresh, if you will. Um, I'm kind of already liking the decor in here because I, Lisa did get that far, but I'm going to be painting this vanity. We're going to be adding some hardware. We're going to change out the light fixture. Um, if you guys have been subscribed for a while, then you may notice the faucet in here is different. It used to be just like a polished chrome builder grade faucet. Something happened to it. The handle stopped working. So I just replaced it with this really nice kind of matte black one. Um, and honestly, it looks better and I wanted to swap it out anyways, but um, I'm going to be putting a matching light fixture in here. I think I'm going to swap out the towel bar. Um, like I said, I'm going to put some matte black hardware here on the vanity and painting it and just giving it like a refresh. I just want to kind of make everything match a little bit more and it really won't take a whole lot of effort. I just need to actually take the time to get in here and paint and then um, drill out the holes for the hardware and then have my husband hang the new vanity light and I think it's going to look a hundred times better in here. So for the most part, my boys come in here and they are in charge of cleaning their own bathroom. They are nine and 10 now. And for the longest time, you know, I just wasn't really comfortable with them cleaning the bathroom area. Um, one, I didn't know how too good of a job they were gonna do. And it's just a space that I wanna make sure is being done correctly. I wanna make sure that, you know, um, that they're doing it correctly and safely. So they're to an age now where um, I do have them come in here and clean, but Let's be honest, it needs a good mom clean every once in a while. And since I'm gonna be coming here and painting and making this space over, um, I wanted to make sure that I really like wiped down the cabinets and got in all the little nooks and crannies. So that's why I'm coming in here and doing this today. And as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I had every intention of coming in here and painting today. Well, you know what, life happens. And once again, it just wasn't in the card. So I didn't get to start painting this, but I promise you, in my next video, I am going to be painting this bathroom. It's gonna happen. I've had the paint for weeks now, so I need to get in here and just get it done. But my heart was in the right place. I came in here, deep cleaned, got it all ready to go, but I just ran out of time. I could say I was finally over you, but that's not the truth. Mm -mm.
because <laughs> I did a lot of damage. But I wanted to share this with you guys. Now, um, it was Lauren Nicholson. She shared this um, over on her Instagram and I instantly ordered it. I will link it down below, but it's Trader Joe's five items or less cookbook. And I had to try it for myself because I always get these mental blocks on what to make for dinner. And this gives you everything that you need. And I love how it breaks it down with a photo and then what it looks like together. And then it gives all the ingredients that you need along with the directions. And everything in this book is from Trader Joe's five ingredients or less. So I decided to try it for myself. It's got breakfast stuff, dinner stuff, snacks. Um, I think there might even be like desserts in here, but look at this ciabatta cheese steak. This is all you need. And here's the ingredients. So I decided to try it for myself. So yeah, the jury is out because um, I'll have to film another video and give you guys like an update, but oh man, I should have gotten the stuff to make this. in and out animal style fries. Oh my goodness. So I'm going to be back at Trader Joe's probably in the next few days, but I just wanted to share this with you all because I thought this was just a great, affordable, quick option for weeknight dinners, and I'm really trying to eat at home more, but I grabbed a lot of stuff, so I'm going to put this away. I'm not going to do a full haul because um, I have to leave and go get my kids, but I will go ahead and film me putting it away, and you guys can kind of peep some things that I got. Here's one. How delicious does that look? So let's get this stuff put away because I have to leave in like five minutes to cook it. What's it like to be the one that he turns to when he saddle answers? What's it like to be the one that he comes to when he wants to dance? Thank you so much for watching today i appreciate you more than you know if you guys enjoyed this video if you could hit that thumbs up before you leave today also don't forget to subscribe and i will have ybot linked right below in the description box along um, at the top of my pinned comments so you guys can go ahead and check them out and thank you again so much to ybot for sponsoring today's video and i'll see you guys in the next one bye friends